My name is Kayla, and on behalf of the summer school group Social Aspects of Sustainability, thank you for joining us at this Petrus Camper Festival, virtually, from wherever you may be in the world. Last year, our group travelled to Barcelona for our summer school, where we had lots of sangria and paella, and in keeping with our group identity, stayed at a fully sustainable hostel, where the lights went out at 12 o'clock at night, and the shower turned off every seven seconds in order to conserve water. To make us feel at home, we even went on a bike tour around the city. We went to Barcelona to study superblocks, which are nine block areas in the city where traffic is redirected to the outside of the blocks, creating green safe havens for pedestrians and cyclists. Unfortunately, there was some public backlash to these superblocks, and so our summer school group was brought in to help design interventions to tackle this. We were split into five groups, with each group dealing with a different aspect of the problem that the superblocks faced. Group one, low neighborhood acceptance in Poblano. Top-down planning made residents feel excluded, and so this group's solution revolved around the idea that more knowledge equals more acceptance, and so their intervention involved spreading information through posters, signs, and social media channels. Group two, decrease in sense of community. Societal friction was caused because of the opposition to the superblocks, and so this group decided to target the sense of community involvement by providing opportunities for the residents to be involved in the superblock decision-making process. Group 3, the pressure of potential displacement. This group saw citizen dissatisfaction as a government problem, and their key intervention involved introducing government subsidies for local businesses to organize events promoting social interactions within the superblocks. Group 4, underuse of superblock playgrounds by children. For this group, the space was not serving its purpose or being used efficiently, and so their solution was to talk to the parents, encouraging them to participate in design meetings to uncover children's preferences thereby making the playgrounds more attractive, safer social hubs. Group 5. Insufficient use of superblocks by the elderly. This group coupled the insufficient use of the superblocks by the elderly with the loneliness of the aging population of Barcelona and noted the insufficient infrastructure in the superblocks to support this group. Their intervention was to adapt the infrastructure to be more inclusive for the elderly, thus increasing their social networks and combating loneliness. Thank you all very much for listening to what our summer school and atelier were all about. If you'd like to look at the interventions we designed in more detail, please head on over to the Social Aspects of Sustainability webpage on the Petrus Camper Festival website. Thank you very much and enjoy the festival!